The 72nd Annual Primetime Emmy Awards are right here on ABC tonight. ABC's Rena Roy has more on what we can expect from the very unique award show. Like much of 2020, the annual Emmy Awards will be unlike any other. But the show must go on with A-listers lounging at home instead of strutting down the red carpet. The producers are promising plenty of mistakes. I think they're actually hoping that uh, this is so raw, so live that you never know what's what's going to happen. Jimmy Kimmel returns as host for the third time, but this year's event marks the first major Hollywood awards show during the coronavirus pandemic. No one goes home a loser. They'll already be at home. And it will be no small feat to pull off with more than 100 cameras coming in live from all over. Dozens of stars tuning in across the globe. When somebody wins an Emmy, there will be no clapping. <laughs> there will be no fake laughs after my monologue jokes. Well, no one really knows what's going to work. I think we're going to expect some some real crazy moments where, where people do things that they're not expected to, to do. Leading the list of nominees, HBO's Watchmen. I guess we have ourselves a reckoning. The hit show earning a whopping 26 nods, including Best Limited Series. Four out of six directing nods in that category went to women, including Maria Schrader for Netflix's Unorthodox. I have no money, no education. And posthumously to Lynn Shelton for Hulu's Little Fires Everywhere. Well below market, but it's really not about the money. Out of 102 acting nominees, a record number of 35 are black, including Billy Porter, Sterling K. Brown, and Issa Rae. I think the report card on inclusion and representation this year is mixed. The good news is we are starting to see some progress. Amazon comedy The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is the second most nominated series with 20, followed by Netflix's Ozark with 18. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.